Hey guys, I just wanted to make another video because this is version two of my MyTech Liberty DAC um, configuration setup. What here it is, there it is, and what you can see is that the um, the LEDs to the to the right are all white. That means it's got the latest fir firmware version version three, I think, is what it is, and um, previous versions. Um, the LEDs were all red so that's a way of knowing that you've got the correct the correct firmware what you do is um, below the below the Liberty DAC is a PC and you can see that's title that um, that I'm uh, using to stream the music to the um, to the Liberty DAC but uh, in any case you load the um, the MyTech control panel download the latest firmware and then use the control panel software to upgrade the DAC which I have done and you can see by the white lights so also the the latest upgrade what I did is I got a um, a 12 volt linear power supply it's from e eBay it's Breeze Audio I didn't want to spend $400 for a power supply so I got this one for about 150 uh, like I said it's a 12 volt power supply the, the trick for getting the power supply, as far as my tech is concerned, is you want to have a lot of watts to it. So this has got a 120 volt amp um, toroidal um, transformer in it, and uh, it's rated for like 8 to 10 amps. So it can provide power very quickly for, you know, when the music fluctuates to the DAC. So, um, so that's one of the upgrades is the linear power supply. Also, too, it has all kinds of audio capacitors in there to um, filter the, the high filter noise out of it. But um, so here's my stack. It's got the Liberty DAC. Below it, it's got um, an HP PC. I had another PC in before. This is another upgrade that I had. And... Um, that PC um, was fanless. This one has a small fan, but it's only about 2 dBs of noise, so it's not very loud, the fan that's in it. Um, it stays fairly cool. Um, but this, uh, it's a really small PC, but it's more powerful than the um, PC I had before. That's another upgrade. It's got twice as much RAM. It's got eight gig of RAM and um, the processor's faster and then it's it's AMD based so it's got um, it's got um, a, a built-in um, um, video card so that's nice but the um, that there's a com the bottom of the stack is a Comcast X1 um, uh, you know um, streaming for TV and um, ab above the um, here is um, is an Amazon Fire TV. There's the um, this is the um, the linear power supply. But here's the the Comcast. That's the HP PC, and of course that's the Liberty DAC. But now you see this cardboard in between in the stack. What I did is I went to an auto parts store and I got some uh, heat shielding, and uh, I put it on the cardboard to make sure that. Um, everything sort of like stays within its own bounds as far as the heat. Uh, I don't want the heat radiating from here to here and from here to here and getting everything over overly hot. But um, I've been running it for days and it hasn't had a, a problem with shutting down with heat. The previous PC I had would shut down. So um, even though I had a little fan, you know, I had a USB fan over here. But um, so this is an antenna. This, this HP uh, doesn't come with Wi-Fi. So I have an antenna that goes in through and um, you can see it's, uh, it thinks it's, it's an ethernet connection, but really it's, it's, uh, it's um, 5K or 5G, uh, 5K um, uh, um, Wi-Fi. But um, so also too, uh, some upgrades I made to the DAC is um, I um, used, I got, instead of using the balanced, I mean the unbalanced RCA cables to my preamp, what I did was um, 
I use the TRS to XLR cables. So that will um, balance out any, any um, noise that might be occurring from the PC or this antenna or anything like that. So the connection from my, um, from my Liberty DAC to the, um, to the pre-amplifier is, um, is, uh, is with the balanced connectors now. And also another upgrade I made with the, with the Liberty DAC is, is uh, pr just prior to the USB cable coming into the Liberty DAC, what I did is I got an iFi, iPure, I think it's called iPurifier 2, which is a, about a $100 USB cable. What it does is it takes the USB, the, the signal source from the, um, from the PC and it buffers it, regenerates the USB signal and sends it to the Liberty DAC. <clears throat> So um, the signal is, <clears throat> is basically perfect. So, um, so those are my upgrades. Um, <clears throat> the, you know, it's the Samsung 4K Ultra HD TV running title. Okay, say running title. And then, um, uh, you know, uh, what, uh, what I can do is I've got it paused at my keyboard right now. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. <clears throat> Where I back where I control the system, but it'll play master. And when it does, when I turn it, when I unpause it, this light goes from from um, from uh, yellow, which means PCM, to uh, blue or green. But in this particular case, this ZZ top that I've got um, that I've got queued up here, it's it's a blue light, which means that the <clears throat> the band itself. Has approved the um, the um, the recording quality. So um, um, there's my um, you know again. Uh, this is a Grace Digital Class D amp that's um, Bluetooth that I use. I don't have to do too much, so I don't put money into the surround sound. But that amp is for the surround sound. But it, it's also Bluetooth so that when someone comes over and they just want to play their own music through my surround sound speakers, they can through Bluetooth with this Grace Digital. So that's, that's the thought process on that. Okay, here is the, um, here's the pre-amplifier, which is the heart of the whole system. And uh, nice thing about it is, um, is it's got it's certain things come into it, like my sources are CD, which is, um, which is the, um, the title PC is CD. And then I have um, DVD, which is my, my, Pioneer, um, my Pioneer Super Audio CD player. And um, that has its own DAC because the DAC in the Pioneer is probably not that good. So I got a topping D50 with its own power supply. That's a five volt. So it's got its own linear power supply. So. Um, so um, I'll switch the preamp to um, DVD, and um, then I can listen to um, the the Pioneer uh, Super Audio CD player. And below that is uh, the two champ two channel um, uh, power amplifier. It's a New Force STA two hundred, I think, is what it is. So um, now the the um, the connection between the preamp and the amp is um, unbalanced. So um, what I'm doing is, um, is I'm going balanced from only from my Liberty DAC to my preamplifier, okay? So I eliminate any noise that's, that's, that could be, you know, happening in here, but I do that at the expense of some extra buffers you know, maybe there's some op amps or some extra circuitry that's going on balanced. So, but I split the baby by um, by going um, unbalanced between the um, between the um, preamp and the amp. So, um, oh, and just as an aside for my center channel, I have a powered. Um, Atom A5X monitor that just um, does the center channel for when I'm doing 5.1.
So uh, also, I have um, I have a Behringer. I think it's called a D D E Q or D Q twenty four ninety six um, equalizer. And right now, I'm just taking the XLR out of my preamplifier and putting that into the um, into the um, the equalizer just to show the um, to me, it just shows me the, the real-time analyzer shows me the the music levels. So um, I'm doing that, but I've I've also set up a microphone and equalized any um, imperfections out of the room. So at some point in time, what I might do is change out this amp, the New Force amp for the two-channel, because it doesn't have any um, balance connectors. And put a put another. I'm looking at a Paris. I think it's called um, Paris Sound Amp, and I'm gonna put that there and go XLR out from my preamplifier to the equalizer, and from the equalizer to the um, to the Paris Sound. You know the um, the uh, it, when I replace it, which will have the balanced um, inputs. And the equalizer would sit in between, and and I think I do need to um, lower the amplitude on a couple um, frequencies and um, raise it in a couple. And it's just some minor tweaks that the equalizer can do. I'll see if that um, makes a difference. But um, here's my speakers, the Clips Heresy threes. They're beautiful. Clips Heresy three and then a Sunfire True Signature subwoofer. The re speakers on this system retail for about four or $5,000. And um, there's the whole, the whole setup. You know, I got my uh, DVDs and CDs over to the right, books and Blu-rays up there. So I'm just gonna turn it on real quick. So. You can see here's the um, here's the volume control because I for depending on the song I have to level up or level down the the volume, and then this is the um, the keyboard that uh, controls the PC. So you see it's master. And you see the uh, the blue light is now on on the Liberty DAC, which means I'm streaming uh, master quality sound. But um, but that's about it um, for the latest revisions to my system. I think I've pretty much got it where I need it to be. Um, um, but um, those were you know I've done maybe I don't know. 10 different upgrades to get it to where I want it to be. But um, but I'm really happy with the sound and logically and scientifically, I've covered all the bases as far as far um, as far as what people think. But if you um, can make any suggestions about anything I've missed, you know, um, as far as uh, trying to theoretically make the sound better, then please make a comment in the comment section. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this video.